Hello, everybody. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our letter P paper. So get this out of your communication folder and then have your pencil and your crayon ready. All right, first thing, we're going to write our name at the very top. So go ahead and get your pencil and write your name at the top. Do a good job because remember, we're writing our name so other people can read our name. All right, the first thing we're going to do after we write our name is we are going to color the uppercase and lowercase p green. Why are we coloring it green? That's right, it's the color of the week. So go ahead and color it green. Remember, we are not coloring in the middle because that is not part of the letter P. That would be like me giving you three eyes instead of just two if I was to draw you. All right, now we need to draw something that starts with P. Can you think of something that starts with P? How about penguin? I'm going to draw a penguin. If you can think of something else that starts with P, you go ahead and draw what that is that you see. But it must say P, 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 okay? And then let's just give him some little arms and his little feet. There we go. We have a little penguin. All right, my friends. Now get your pencil and we're going to trace our uppercase P's. Remember the uppercase P is a straight line from the top to the bottom solid lines and then a small rainbow on top. Straight line, rainbow, straight line, rainbow. And it's just a small rainbow. If we do a big rainbow, then we're actually making the letter D. We're not, we're making the letter P. All right, so finish tracing all those P's. And then we're gonna write three P's by ourselves. Straight line down from top to bottom and a small rainbow. Straight line down top to bottom and a rainbow. Straight line down top to bottom and a rainbow. So there we go, we have our P's. Now let's go ahead and trace our lowercase p's. So our lowercase p is a line that starts at the dotted line and it goes down below the solid line. And then it's a small rainbow that's below the dotted line to the solid line. So go ahead and trace those p's. And then we are going to write three of them all by ourselves. I will be looking at your P's to make sure that you're following directions and writing them correctly. So go ahead and write three of them all by yourself. One, two, three. There we go, my friends. So that's what your P should look like. All right. Now go back and get your green crayon. And we're going to color the things that start with the P, P, P sound. How about chair. Does that say p, p, p? Nope, it doesn't. How about pot? P, p, pot. Yep, it does. So go ahead and color the pot. This is a cooking pot. If you want to make or boil something, that's what you put it in. How about a pig? P, p, pig. Yep, it does. Go ahead and color it green. How about pizza? P -p pizza. Yes, it does. Good job. You guys are so smart. Color your pizza. But how about fan? F fan. No, it doesn't. Good job. All right, so we don't circle it. Now get your pencil again, and we're going to circle only the uppercase and lowercase P's. Only the uppercase and lowercase P's. Do not let this trick you. Do not circle B's or D's or Q's. Only the P's, okay? I'm going to make sure I'm not being tricked. All right, I think I did it. I wasn't tricked this time. Good job, my friends. All right, my friends, you are turning in this worksheet. So put it into your communication folder and good job. I'll see you later. Bye.